All right, today I'm going to answer another frequently asked question in a frequent problem of therapists in private practice and entrepreneurs at large. It's managing your email inbox. All right, so if you're like most people, you spend way too much time on your, on your inbox. You've got it open all the time. You're sitting there waiting for the next thing to come in. And the reality is you just live your life around putting out fires left and right. Right, so um, I get it, I've been there before, and I also wanna tell you that working through these strategies and implementing some of these strategies over time has been a complete game changer and it allowed me to start multiple businesses, to scale up, to just be happier and be healthier, right, in my, in my life and the way that I spend my time. So, um, so hear me out, all right? So the first thing I want you to try is something called zero inboxing. Zero inboxing is just what it sounds like. It's getting your email to zero constantly, right? Make that a regular habit, okay? So how are you gonna do that? Well, you're gonna do it by having folders, folders in the right places for the right things, right? So when an email comes in, either you are gonna put it in the right folder or ideally, and this is number two, you're gonna hire a virtual assistant to do it for you. So I have someone who works full time for me and, and manages this. Um, also, keep in mind that virtual assistants are a lot more affordable than, than people think. You could pay for someone uh, in the Philippines anywhere from um, $100 to $150 a week full time to help you out as a virtual assistant. Um, it is a true game changer, right? So anyway, my virtual assistant helps me practice zero inboxing every day, and this is how she does it. Um, we've got folders for all the different types of communication, the different teams, the different companies, um, different folders for clients, etc. But the, the two most important folders are this. Needs John's attention today or tomorrow. So that's stuff that is pressing and only I can answer. Or needs John's attention sometime this week. Right? So again, it's stuff that only I can answer, but I can get to it any time this week, and there will be you know, no consequence for the business or financially, et cetera. Okay? Um, so again, between these two things, zero inboxing and having someone help you achieve zero inboxing, you are going to see a major improvement to your life and the way that you're running your business rather than just relying on your email as your productivity tool, as a way to glance your email and see 20 emails sitting there that all need your attention. Um, and you just get pulled in different directions all day, every day. And you, you never get to really operating your business on your own terms, okay? The last thing, so my last tip is learning when and how to ignore. Uh, unintentionally, we train people to keep emailing us and keep emailing us about menial things, right? So if it's a client emailing to reschedule, they should already have a way of either rescheduling online or maybe, you know, calling your assistant or, or whatever it is. That's not something that you should be doing anymore. Even if you were doing it at one point, even if you think you're really great at it or it provides great customer service, it's, it's small stuff. You need to get the small stuff out of your way and out of your life. Um, on the other hand, let's say you have an intern who's got a clinical question for you. Well, that intern should be saving that question for supervision, but you've got to train them to do so, right? Otherwise, they send you that clinical question and you're sitting in your email, so you reply three minutes later, you've just trained them and reinforced them um, to expect that type of communication from you and to just have full access to your time whenever they want, all right? So, it's gonna take a while to get the hang of these things and actually have them um, make a difference in your life and your productivity and your happiness, but I guarantee you they will if you give them a try. So again, just to review, number one, working towards zero inboxing, getting to zero all the time. Number two, hiring a virtual assistant to help you with zero inboxing. Number three, learning when and how to ignore and training those around you to, um, to, to communicate with you in the appropriate and agreed upon channels. All right, I hope this was helpful as always. Um, if, you, if you haven't already, head over to privatepracticeworkshop.com, download the email marketing workshop or some other free resources there, and, um, and get in touch with me. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more private practice and business building tips, and leave some comments below. If you have a question in particular about your business or your practice or, or anything that I can help you with, leave it in the comments below, and I'll see if I can make another video just for you. All right, I'll see you next time.